Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Hilar and I'm a software engineer on the Latin Squad. Let's talk about the new alert rule creation workflow available in Grafana 10.1 for open source and enterprise users and already available in cloud. Let's start explaining what problems we are trying to fix. The first is that in the previous workflow, users found certain mandatory steps like choosing the type of the rule they wanted to create, which added some initial decision-making overhead. At the same time, we identified opportunities for improvements in the alert rule form to enhance overall user experience during the creation process. And secondly, it's about alert routing, because currently there is confusion among users about how our system decides to send an alert to specific contact point. So let's jump to the UI and let's see these changes. You can see in here that the first thing we did is that we moved the new alert recording rule action button to here. Why? Because a recording rule is not an alert rule. So we decided to move this outside our rule creation workflow. Let's go to the alert rule form. We did several improvements there like wrapping in here in this option model, time range, max data points, and mean interval. Then we fixed that the query is not expandable. And in expressions, now you cannot edit an expression, but you can only remove and create a new one, deciding from the beginning the type you want to use. We did some improvements in the alert evaluation behavior, like the way we create a new folder and a new uh, a new group. And in annotations, we did another changes. But the most important thing we did in this part is about the, regarding the workflow is the change we did uh, about deciding the rule type. Now it's not mandatory. So the first thing that the user have to has to decide is the data source they want to use. So you select the data source you want to use. And then the system is, is smart enough to uh, enable you to switch to data source manager root or not. So by default, this will be a Grafana manage alert rule. But in case the data source you selected is enabled to be used as a cloud rule, then you can switch to cloud rule. Then let's go to the new feature. We decided to create uh, a new feature to enable users to preview how the potential alerts uh, instance will be root depending on the current alert definition and the current alert manager configuration you have. This is only available for Grafana Manage Alerts, as we don't have the control where the cloud alerts are configured to be sent as are in external systems. So let's review this context and review what we have in the definition of all our alert managers. If we go to the admin tab and we go to the Grafana alert manager configuration, you will see here that our Grafana alert instance will be sent to both internal and external in this case. And in external, we have this alert manager that is named alert manager. Then what we have to, to do is to go to the notification policy tree for both alert managers for Grafana alert manager. We have this notification policy tree. And for the external one, we have this notification policy tree. Let's go to our alerts and let's see what happened with this new preview routing uh, feature. We click to here and then we will see how our potential alerts, depending on the labels we have defined, are going to be root. In this case, for internal alert manager, these potential alerts are going to be sent to default policy because we don't have matching labels for the notification policy tree we have defined it. But for the external alert manager, we have this matching instance because of this um, label, magical label equal yes, this alert instance is going to be root to this notification policy that is magic label different to not desired label. And it's going to go to this uh, contact point that is named Grafana alerting. If you want to see the details, you will see the wall path that is severity critical, is matches, and 
sorry, the magical label different to not decided label. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can reach out the alerting team in the alerting Slack channel. Thank you very much.